The Galil is a family of Israeli small arms designed by I. Israel Galil and Yusuf Law in the late 1960s and produced by Israel Military Industries Limited of Ramat HaSharon. The rifle design borrowed heavily from the AK-47 and had a modified gas diversion system similar to the AK-47 to reduce the recoil of the rifle making it easier to fire especially in automatic mode. The weapon system consists of a line chambered for the intermediate 5.56A, 45mm NATO caliber with either the M193 or SS109 ball cartridge and several models designed for use with a 7.62x51 M NATO rifle round. It is named after one of its inventors, I. Israel Gallon. The Gallon series of weapons is in use with military and police forces in over 25 countries. There are four basic configurations of the Galil, the standard rifle length, a carbine variant known as the SAR, a compact MAR version, and an arm light machine gun. History In the late 1950s, the Israeli Defense Forces adopted the FNFAL battle rifle chambered for the 7.62A, 51mm cartridge. Two models were fielded the LF individual weapon and the Beth Squad automatic weapon. It first saw major combat with the Israelis during the Six-Day War in 1967. Although Israel won decisive victories, the FAL showed its limitations. It had poor reliability in the sandy and dusty battlefields of the Middle East. Furthermore, it was a long and bulky weapon. Its length and malfunctions became so much of an issue that during the 1973 Yom Kippur War, some soldiers armed themselves with an Uzi submachine gun with an extended barrel. During the Six-Day War, the Israelis captured thousands of AK-47 assault rifles and evaluated them. The rifle proved far more reliable and controllable than the FAL. Because of this, the IDF began the process of procuring or designing a new automatic rifle. Several weapons were submitted for the lucrative deal of becoming the Israeli Army's standard issue assault rifle. America offered the M16A1 and Stoner 63 series. Russia offered the AK-47 itself, and Germany offered the HK-33. One indigenous design was offered by Yoziel Galal, creator of the Uzi submachine gun. Another indigenous design was offered by I. Israel Galal. His rifle was based off the Finnish RK-62. While the AK-47 and RK-62 fired the 7.62A, 39mm Soviet round, Galilei's rifle fired the smaller 5.56A, 45mm M193-55 grain round. At the time, the United States was replacing France as Israel's main partner and weapons supplier. The U.S. would not supply Russian ammunition, so the design of the gun was altered to use the American cartridge. To accommodate the smaller round, the Kalashnikov-type rifle's 4.2M gas hole was reduced to 1.8M. Tests conducted from the end of the 1960s to the early 1970s led to Galilei's rifle emerging as the winner. It was named the Galil after its designer and formally adopted as the Israeli Army's next assault rifle in 1972 to replace the FNFAL. However, issuing of the Galil was delayed by the sudden onset of the Yom Kippur War in 1973. The Galil was mostly used by mechanized and armored units where its folding stock made it easier to store in vehicles. The M16A1 was more common in Israeli service in the 1970s and 1980s because Vietnam surplus rifles were sold cheaper than it would cost to manufacture new gales. Around 1975, M16A1S from the U.S. military aid program arrived for Israel, which utilized them for infantry forces to allow them to carry a lighter weapon on patrols. The Galil was still kept in use by some services, including the Knesset Guard. Design details, operating mechanism, the Galil series of rifles are selective fire weapons operated by a Kalashnikov pattern gas-driven piston system with no regulator. The weapon is locked with a rotary bolt with two locking lugs that lock into recesses milled into the receiver. When fired, a portion of the propellant gases are evacuated into the gas cylinder through a 1.8-arm port drilled at a 30-degree angle in the barrel, and a channel in the gas block. The high-pressure gases drive the piston rod rearward. During this rearward movement, 
a cam slot machined into the bolt carrier engages a cam pin on the bolt and rotates the bolt, unlocking the action. The arrangement of parts on the bolt carrier assembly provides for a degree of free travel, allowing gas pressure in the barrel to drop to a safe level before unlocking. To the immediate rear of the chrome-plated piston head is a notched ring which provides a reduced bearing surface and alleviates excess gas buildup. As the bolt carrier travels back, it compresses the return spring guided in a hollowed section of the bolt carrier and the return energy contained in the spring drives the moving assembly back forward, stripping a new round from the magazine and locking the action. The cocking handle is attached to the bolt carrier on the right side of the receiver and reciprocates with each shot. The handle is bent upwards allowing for operation with the left hand while the shooting hand remains on the pistol grip. The ejection of spent cases from the gallil is sometimes a violent action. Cases can be dented by the ejector and be thrown as much as 40 ft away from the rifle in some cases, depending on position. Features The gallil is hammer-fired and has a trigger mechanism patterned after the trigger used in the American M1 Garand. The rifle's fire selector switches three positions, SAR. Pushing it to the rear position R, provides semi-automatic fire. Pushing it to the middle position A produces fully automatic fire. Pushing the lever fully forward to S will activate the safety. The Galil prototypes used a stamped and riveted sheet metal steel receiver, but due to the higher operating pressures of the 5.56 X45M cartridge, this solution was discarded and the designers turned to a heavy milled forging. As a testament to its heritage, early prototypes were fabricated using Volmet RK62 receivers manufactured in Helsinki. All exterior metal surfaces are phosphated for corrosion resistance and then coated with a black enamel. The machine's solid steel bullet action avoided cracking problems the AK series had with steel stamped sheet actions, but this made the gallow heavier. The weapon is fitted with a high-impact plastic handguard and pistol grip and a side-folding tubular steel skeleton stock. The rifle can be used with a sound suppressor. The weapon features a bottle opener in the front handguard and wire cutter built into the bipod. The bottle opener feature was included to prevent damage to magazines being used to open bottles, due to the large civilian reservist components of the IDF. Use of magazines to open bottles was a common source of magazine lip damage with Uzi submachine guns. Wire cutters were included to reduce the time necessary for IDF troops to cut down wire fences common to rural areas in Israel. Barrel Early production models were supplied with barrels that had six right-hand grooves and a 305 mm rifling twist, while recent production models feature a 178 mm twist barrel with six right-hand grooves. The barrel has a slotted flash suppressor with six ports and can be used to launch rifle grenades or mount a bayonet lug attachment. Feeding, the gallil is fed from a curved, steel box magazine with a 35-round capacity, a 50-round capacity or a special color-coded 12-round magazine blocked for use exclusively with ballistite cartridges, used to launch rifle grenades. The magazine is inserted front-end first in a similar manner to the AK family. An optional magazine adapter enables the use of M16 type Stinag magazines. Some who have used the GAL alarm with the 50 round magazine have noted that it is difficult to engage targets at elevated heights while firing on the ground in the prone position due to the magazine's extended length. Sights The L shaped rear sight has two apertures preset for firing at 0 a Euro 300 AM and 300 a Euro 500 AM respectively. The front post is fully adjustable for both windage and elevation zero and is enclosed in a protective hood. Low light flip up front blade and rear sight elements of three self luminous tritium capsules which are calibrated for 100M when deployed. When the rear night sight is flipped up for use, the rear aperture sights must be placed in an offset position intermediate between the two apertures. Certain variants have a receiver-mounted dovetail adapter that is used to mount various optical sights. Stock All Gala variants have a folding tubular steel stock. While similar in appearance to the folding stocks on some FAL variants, they are made from tubular aluminum. Galil stocks do not have a button latch. Although the folding stock makes the Galil able to fit in confined spaces, its steel construction, 
which is more durable than the FAL folding stock's aluminum construction, further adds weight to the rifle. Variants, AR, the standard rifle version which is fitted with a high-impact plastic handguard and pistol grip, a side-folding tubular metal skeleton stock is fitted to all variants except the Galil Sniper. SAR, the SAR carbine variant, generally known as Glylon, is configured with a shorter barrel. Due to the shorter barrel a corresponding shorter piston and gas tube as well as a unique gas block are found on the SAR. Arm, the arm light machine gun variant is additionally equipped with a carrying handle, folding bipod and a larger wooden handguard. The wooden handguard remains cooler during sustained automatic fire and has grooves for bipod storage. When folded, the bipod's legs form a speed chute for rapid magazine insertion. The bipod will form a wire cutter and the rear handguard ferrule, which retains the bipod legs, can be used to open bottles by design, in order to prevent soldiers using magazine lips for this purpose which damaged them. MAR, the most recent addition to the Galil family of weapons is the MAR compact carbine, which retains the internal features of the original Galil with a completely new frame, operating system and an even shorter barrel. Introduced to the public at the Second International Defense Industry Exhibition in Poland in 1994, the weapon was developed for use with the Army and Police Special Units, Vehicle Crews, Army Staff, Special Operations Personnel and Airborne Infantry. The MAR, or the Micro Galil, is a reduced size version of the Galil SAR, weighing 2.98 kg empty. Compared to the original carbine, the MAR has a shortened barrel, receiver piston, gas tube and full grip. The firearm is fed from a 35-round steel magazine which can be clipped together to increase reload speed. The MAR has the same rate of fire as other 5.56mm gallon models. An optional magazine adapter inserted inside the magazine well allows the use of standard 20 and 30-round M16 magazines. The lever safety and fire selector has four settings, SA Euro weapon is safe, AA Euro automatic fire, BA Euro 3 round burst, RA Euro semi automatic mode. The barrel has a multifunction muzzle device. The MAR is equipped with a folding tubular aluminum stock and a flip aperture sight with two settings, 0 Euro 300 AM and beyond 300 M. The MAR can also be equipped with a night vision device, a daytime optical sight, low light sights with tritium illuminated dots a vertical forward grip with integrated laser pointer, silencer and a nylon sling. Upon request, the weapon can be supplied with a bolt catch, plastic magazines weighing 0.164 kg or an enlarged trigger guard for use with gloves. The MAR has undergone several changes over time, and it is worth noting that it may also be found with a polymer-coated aluminum stock or an all-polymer stock. The Model 699 is available with a 267mm barrel and optional left side charging handle which is welded onto the left side of the bolt carrier and protrudes through a slot cut in he receive a cover that is covered by a spring-loaded cover while the bolt carrier is forward, 7.62mm variants. The 7.62mm Galil is derived from the 5.56mm base version. The rifle retains the general design layout and method of operation of the 5.56mm variant. In 7.62mm the Galil is available in several different configurations including a SAR carbine, full-size AR rifle and arm light machine gun. These weapons are fed from 25-round box magazines. The barrel has four right-hand grooves with a 305mm rifling twist rate. Galats. The 7.62mm Galil Sniper is a derivative of the arm that is used with high-quality 7.62x51mm NATO ammunition for consistent accuracy. The Precision Rifle is a semi-automatic only rifle with a similar operating system to other Galil variants, but optimized for accuracy. The rifle is fed from a 25-round box magazine. It uses a heavy profile match barrel that is heavier than that used on other variants. It is fitted with a multifunctional muzzle device, which acts as a flash suppressor and a muzzle brake. It can be replaced with a sound suppressor which requires the use of subsonic ammunition for maximum effectiveness. The weapon was modified with a two-stage trigger mechanism with an adjustable pull force, 
a wooden buttstock that folds to the right side of the weapon and a heavy-duty bipod, mounted to the forward base of the receiver housing that folds beneath the handguard when not in use. The buttstock is fully adjustable in length and height and features a variable height cheek riser. The rifle comes with mechanical iron sights and an adapter used to mount a telescopic day sight or a night sight. The mount is quick detachable and capable of retaining zero after remounting. The precision rifle is stored in a rugged transport case that comes with an optical sight, mount, filters, two slings and a cleaning kit. Recent production models feature synthetic plastic furniture and a skeletonized metal stock. The Galatz was first introduced in 1983. The SR-99 is a modernized version of the Galatz featuring an adjustable skeleton stock instead of a wooden stock, synthetic handguard, and a synthetic pistol grip. It is somewhat less rugged, but more ergonomic. Other variants, Magal, a law enforcement carbine variant of the Galil MA are chambered in .30 carbine. It uses the same 15 and 30 round magazines as the M1 carbine. Marksman Assault Rifle Mark I 5.56 mm designated marksman rifle introduced in 1996. Has a scope and padded stock. Galani, a civilian version with a new production milled semi automatic receiver built in the United States. All other components are original IMI Galil production parts. Galil ACE, the new generation of the Galil rifle. It has three versions chambered for 5.56 mm NATO. 7.62 mm Soviet M43 and 7.62 mm NATO. It has five Picatinny rails for optical devices and accessories, and is lighter and more accurate than past generation gales. It can be stripped without any tools. South African variants, the R4, the SADF's version of the Galil arm assault rifle with several modifications. Notably, both the stock and magazine are now made of a high-strength polymer and the stock was lengthened, adapting the weapon for the average South African soldier. The South African Navy, South African Air Force and South African Police Service adopted a short carbine version of the 5.56mm Galil SAR, which was licensed manufactured as the R5. The R5, when compared to the larger R4, has a barrel that is 130mm shorter together with a shorter gas system and handguard. It also lacks a bipod, and the flash hider does not support rifle grenades. In the 1990s, an even more compact personal defense weapon variant of the R5 was developed for armored vehicle crews, designated the R6, which has a further reduced barrel and a shortened gas cylinder and piston assembly. Lytleton engineers worker Denel Land Systems also introduced a line of semi-automatic variants of the R4, R5 and R6 called the LM4, LM5 and LM6 respectively, built for civilian and law enforcement users. Users A Bolivia, a Botswana, a Brazil, the Polícia Militar do Estado do Paran ordered 555 Magal carbines in 2001. A Cameroon, issued to Presidential Guard units. A Columbia, standard issue rifle. Produced under license by Indumil. Also adopted the Galil ACE rifle by the middle of 2010, produced by Indumil. FARC rebels use captured examples against the Colombian armed forces. A Costa Rica, a Democratic Republic of Congo, a Djibouti, a Dominican Republic, an El Salvador, a Estonia, uses 5.56 mm versions of the Galil AR. SAR, arm and the 7.62 mm Galil sniper. A Georgia, uses Galat sniper and micro Galil assault rifles, a Guatemala, 3000 ACE, a Haiti, a Honduras, the Galil SAR was adopted in the late 1970s by the Honduran army, until it was replaced by the American-made M16A1 through U.S. military aid in the 1980s. The Galil SARs were then transferred to the Honduran National Police where they are still in use. In 2011, the Honduran government approved the purchase of the Galil ACE-21 assault rifle for use by the Army and Air Force. The Galil ACE made its first public appearance on September 15, 2013 in the hands of the new unit PMOP. A India, a Indonesia, 
Commando Pasukan Katak Tactical Diver Group and Commando Pasukan Qusa Special Forces Group. Israel, Israel Defense Forces and Knesset Guard. And Italy, the Italian firearms manufacturing firm Vincenzo Bernardelli SRL manufactured under license quantities of the Gallo assault rifle in two different models for governmental use in the 1980s. The Bernardelli Mod 377 VBSTR assault rifle was an outright clone of the Galileo arm variant, while the Bernardelli Mod 378 VBSR assault carbine was a modified clone of the Galileo SAR with a different magazine well that accepted Stinag magazines, much similar in concept and look to the above mentioned optional magazine adapter currently available for the Israeli made models except that the Binardelli VBSR could be manufactured with permanent Stenag magazine well modification on demand. The rifles competed to the trial for the adoption of a new 5.56x45 M NATO caliber rifle, but lost to the Beretta 70-90 assault weapon system. However, as of today, both models result by official schedules to be in the inventories of the Italian National Police, and are known to be deployed with the NOCS team. A Lesotho, a Mexico, Secretaria de Seguridad Pública. A Mongolia, a Myanmar, Tatmadad, Myanmar Police Force, Combat Police Battalions. Produced locally in a modified form as EMERK 3. AA in Nepal, a Nicaragua, a Paraguay, and Dumil made gales for the Furites as de operations de police as a specials, Senate and main rifle of the Paraguayan police, a Peru, a Philippines, a Portugal, 5.56 mm AR and arm versions used by the Portuguese Army Airborne Infantry. A Rwanda, a South Africa, standard assault rifle of the South African National Defense Force. Produced under license in a modified form as the R4 by Denel Land Systems. A South Sudan, a Swaziland, a Tanzania, MAR version seen in use by Tanzanian Special Forces in the Congo. A Trinidad and Tobago, a Ukraine, sniper variant is used by the Omega Special Forces Group. A Vietnam, uses Galileo R and Galil Sniper. See also, RK-62, the Finnish weapon upon which the Galil is partly based. AKM, IMI Tava TAR-21, another Israeli 5.56mm assault rifle, INSAS rifle, Indian 5.56mm caliber assault rifle. R4 assault rifle, South African licensed version, Vector Creek 21, a South African bullpup rifle based on the R4 slash Galil, Zastaval M21, a Serbian 5.56 mm caliber rifle based upon the Kalashnikov action. References Further reading, Kokalis, Peter. Weapons Tests and Evaluations, The Best of Soldier of Fortune. Boulder, Colorado, Paladin Press. ISBN A 1 58160 122 0. External links The AK Forum Galil and Vormit Discussions, Israel Weapon Industries A Euro Manufacturers Page, Operators Manual, Israeli Weapons.com, Galil 5.56mm ARSAR Manual, Buddy Hinton Collection, Galil Rifle Information, Modern Firearms, Remtk, Galani Sporter. Guns Magazine July 2007